myself. I started using drugs when I was like 13 years old. But the thing about drugs, a lot of people don't understand how you get strung out on drugs. A lot of times that's how we cope with life on life terms. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know nothing to do but to use drugs to take away the pain. Yeah. So drugs for me was a coping skill, a coping mechanism. Um, didn't feel loved, didn't feel wanted, so I took to the streets. And in the streets there's nothing but drugs. And that was my purpose for a while. I'm gonna get to the grief. So, <clears throat> as y'all know, I lost two kids. Um, that's a pain that's undescribable. Um, but he brought me. You know, I, my, I have two things I, <clears throat> I don't cry, so. <laughs> but I have two things that's very dear to me. The first one is, thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Yeah. 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 The second one is that, uh, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who yeah. strengthens me. See, God didn't say that you weren't going to have no trials and tribulations. What he did say, he's going to bring you through. And I'm a living witness that he does. So, I said that to say this, when I lost my kids, those are the two times that I wanted to go back to drugs. I really wanted to use. Like I said, the pain is deep. And so, I did it. I asked God to remove that bitter cup. I said, Lord, give me strength. See, because even if I went back out there and did the drugs or drank or did whatever, my kids still were gone. They were gone regardless of what I did. One gonna bring them back. Um, I'm blessed to be raising four of my daughters, granddaughters. Um, I have a contact with my son's kids. <clears throat> but you know, if I had to just gave up and went and did drugs and stuff, I wouldn't even be here today. You know, I'm a, I'm a college graduate. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth, I received a degree in counseling psychology from Buckner University. Yeah. Magnum yeah. 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 so I thank God for that. And sometimes I draw on the strength of my kids. Yeah. You know, I'd I be like, man, if they were here, they'd be pushing me. Come on, mama, you got this. You ain't gotta quit, mom. You know? And I did it. And I'm still fighting. I got back into substitution when I got into substitute teacher when I can't do this thing down. I got into substitute teacher when my when my son died. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. There's <clears throat> so many kids out there need us. Oh yeah. There's so many kids yes, that need to know that it's okay. Yeah. Because they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. And the only thing out there calling them is them drugs. Like them drugs calling me. Yes, the only thing out there calling them is the streets, y'all. Yeah. The streets. And ain't nothing in the streets. Mm -hmm. It's up to us yeah. to save our kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know. I deal with four teenagers, girls, on our daily basis. <laughs> and they all go through. <laughs> and they all agree. Yeah. You know what I realized today? that I don't have to take none of this by myself because yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got people that sit in here. I got you, God. Yeah. I got you. Kyle and Tam, I got people. Yeah. I got you, God. I got people that tell me, hey, keep fighting, don't quit. That's it. I got people that encourage me. Those kids need that too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They don't need to hear how bad they mess up. They know they mess up. That's right. They know it every day. Now none of us can come in there and say, you know you're just a bad, bad kid. Yeah. They know that. Yeah. But have you ever stopped and said, why are they doing this? Come on. They just might need somebody to walk up to them. Come on. Come yeah. on. We're going to be all right. Yeah. We got to start yeah. doing that. Yeah. We got to start having empathy. Yeah. We got to start being compassionate. Yeah. They know they messed up. A lot of times, they ain't got no choice. Yeah. 
A lot of them live in abuse. A lot of them living in drug uses around them at all times. That's right. A lot of them see the violence. I had a little kid come up in that one day. He got suspended. Told the kid, I'm talking about God. I blow your brains out. Where he get that from, you know? Oh, we gotta be mindful. We gotta lift these babies up. Cause if we don't, if we don't, somebody will. That's right. And that's all. I mean, I know I might have got off track a little bit. But it's up to us. We gotta be milk to the state. Hey, no, I ain't trying. Yeah, I see the therapist. Listen, listen. And I'm gonna continue. Listen. Cause if I did, listen. Y'all don't even know. Listen. I know some people in here know me with you. Listen. Well, um, cussing was my every word. One scared of nothing and nobody. But today God has brought me from there. He's still working over now. You don't keep it up now. I ain't saying cuss no more, but he working on lady, mate. I don't have my situations like I used to. But I do know I don't have to do no drugs. I don't have to. And I say, I got 30 years to be sober. I thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for that. Um, Hallelujah. He's put me in the community. Hallelujah. Um, I coach volleyball. I referee basketball. Like I said, I still up in the school. I see a lot of stuff you guys going to see. I really do. But the most important thing, we got to have empathy and compassion if we want to save these kids. Yes, ma'am. And so... Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to speak first, but I'm glad I did. I love y'all. Thank you for this opportunity, Megan. Amen. And um, hey y'all, let's push these kids. Amen. If, if they say, if you see a problem, offer help. Sometimes all it takes is a simple hug. Amen. All they need to know is I got you. Right. Right. Stop putting them down. They are already down enough. Let's lift our babies up. Thank y'all. Thank you, Amy. That was good.